वीजा मिल गया आई गॉट माई वीजा ओके माई वीजा फोटो इज सो फनी आई एम सो एंग्री After coming back from Mumbai and finally finding my wedding lehenga, which was all captured in the previous episode, so make sure you watch it. I had a very, very busy February to say the least. Let me break it down for you guys. First off, we were in the process of doing some major renovations to our home: the flooring, the walls. We were changing wallpapers, the entire living room, dining room, bathroom. So we packed some of our essentials and shifted to my aunt's place, who lives right below us in our apartment, and we stayed there for a couple of weeks. Nala, my cute little cat, was feeling so displaced coming to a new home. So it did take a while for her to get adjusted. It was around this time I met Matthew's parents for the first time ever. I know it sounds crazy considering we are legally married by now and have been dating for almost a decade. But yeah, they had come to Bangalore to see my family and me. I was so nervous, but it went really well. I still continued following my bridal diet religiously as I could sense the wedding day was creeping in sooner. So while I was living with my aunt I also attended this virtual couples retreat with Matthew which is mandatory for all Catholics before they get married some of the sessions were pretty redundant but there were a couple of sessions that gave such practical knowledge to apply for our future married lives and yeah it was just fun to attend it with Matthew even though he was staying up early in the morning to attend this all the way from US fourthly it was actually my bachelorette month so I got these hot pink nails and even got lash extensions for the first time it was so dramatic it did seem a bit over the top but i mean i was going all out because it was my bachelorette and it only comes once so yeah i loved every bit of the drama on my eyes i spent the next 5 days in goa with my closest friends for my bachelorette i didn't really vlog here because i just wanted to completely tune out from my work although i did take lots of videos for future reels which are yet to see the light of day unfortunately i'm sorry guys After coming back to Bangalore we shifted to our newly renovated home. It looked so different with the new floors and wallpaper. I could almost not recognize it. But yeah, we were really happy with how it turned out. Anyways, we continued with our wedding shopping. This time mainly for my Sangeet outfit and also my wedding jewelry. So first we went to Commercial Street and went to Anchal. If you watched episode 3, you might remember the store. They had a really good collection, so we went there and actually ended up finding this gorgeous lavender lehenga. Here are some awkward photos clicked by my dad anyways after trying it out we decided to go ahead with it we also decided to give my wedding blouse here to fix the sleeve and the dori as our shopkeeper said that he can do it really well so we went to the shop suggested by the shopkeeper to get a new dori and latkan for my wedding lehenga if you followed the previous episode you know how perfect my bridal lehenga was except the dori and the latkan so yeah we found the perfect match and brought it back to anchal to give everything for stitching now unfortunately i didn't get a chance to wear this lavender lehenga since suddenly there was a sangeet theme to wear yellow so that was a bummer but it's okay i know i can always wear this for another function but i still wanted to share this because i really love the store and their customer service and their tailor is amazing my mom also found some new sarees to add to her trousseau we are in safina plaza right now mama wants to check some sarees out for i think sangeet or engagement one of those i'm not sure Sonal is a great store for sarees if you are in Commercial Street. My mom actually ended up finding her wedding saree here and no it's not the one she's wearing. It's actually the same saree in green which you can find a glimpse of behind her on the table. But yeah, she also finally found her wedding saree. We even did some jewelry shopping for my wedding fit now that I knew what my lehenga looked like. I could customize and pick out a simple necklace to go with it. I really wanted to keep my jewelry minimal and not like over the top. So yeah, Keerthi Lal took care of everything and This is not sponsored in any way but we had an amazing experience working with them like their customer service is top notch. After we finalized the design they said it would take about a month for it to get made. So I was really looking forward to that. Several days later. And if you think my February is already hectic, it's not done yet. We traveled all the way to Kochi again for finalizing stage decor, collecting wedding invitations, blouse stitching and booking hotels for guests. So it's 27th Feb and I'm in Kochi, specifically in Chakola Pavilion Hall. This is where the engagement is happening. I did vlog about that when we fixed on this hall to finalize decorator we're going to go with. It's going to be very basic like I've told my parents that I want such 
simple minimal decor because that's just the look i like to have that's also the look that matthew loves and i do have a color palette in mind it's that purple burgundy pink magenta that sort of thing i will put a pinterest board here so you guys get an idea email and the mail and our main requirement is a stage and this aisle entry no ah entrance no the entrance or something the theme and understand here na like e colors are या पर्पल मेजेंटा ग्रीन वाइट सेंटर में ग्रीन वरू इनिशियल या पिंक आउच ना पे साड पिंक अब चल का न्यूट्रल अलो very impressed by the way he was explaining how the theme can be tied down which is so important because i have that those specific colors but oh my god it's hot oh bhai garmi <laughs> so now where are we going we're going to collect our engagement invitation cards yeah and i think then we are also checking hotels for my friends like when they come over where they can stay so we have to find some place that's near the airbnb that we are renting out so that you know we can meet more often and it's easier for them so we have to look at uh, hotels nearby so lot of stuff to be done today we then finally got to collect our invitation cards they turned out perfectly with the theme colors of the engagement the purple ribbon everything just came together so classy and elegant so we've arrived at marriott to book for like a day stay or something like that for my wedding so that i can get ready here so we're just going to check out the rooms and book it Since the purpose of booking the room was simply to get ready with good lighting, I think this room basically served that purpose pretty well. So yeah, we did end up booking it for those days. Next up was the dreaded blouse stitching task. So Paris Boutique is one of the biggest like tailoring boutiques and just boutique in general of Kochi. So we had really high expectations. They were charging a bomb for. every piece of clothing that we wanted to stitch spoiler alert they did sort of ruin my engagement blouse more on that in my later vlog maybe but yeah do not recommend for blouse stitching here but i did give some material for anarkali stitching and that they did a fab job because they do have different tailors for blouses versus salwar kameez and anarkalis anyways this was just the first of our many visits to this particular boutique Three days later. And lastly, before heading back to Bangalore, we met Matthew's family for Mandra Godi sari shopping. I will put up some information regarding this tradition for non-Keralites who may not know about this tradition. Hey everyone, today is the third of March, and it's also the day that we are going for Mandra Godi shopping. Now, if you're a non-Malu, it basically is a custom where the in-laws buy the bride to be. a sari uh, which she has to wear after the wedding it's a very important part of christian malu traditions so that's what's happening today me my mom dad and from his side his parents and sister in law and nephew i don't know if his grandmom is also coming after that we might uh, go and do wedding band shopping and mostly we'll also have lunch with them uh, so it's a whole day plan whole day out with my in laws i'm a little nervous but it's okay yesterday itself i went out for lunch with them and that was the first time i met them alone like without my parents so i was very nervous yesterday but then it all went well so yeah i feel like thoda wo ice break ho gaya and i feel more at ease today we're going to shima tea in case you're wondering that's like i think the sari place yeah let me show you guys a quick ootd i'm trying to find a decent angle to show you my outfit also in case you're wondering i'm at my uncle's place please excuse any mess but this is my outfit i actually got this from Uh, Reliance trends in December when I was in Kochi. Yeah, it's just a very pretty mint green kurta dress. Like it doesn't have any slits, so it's basically like a dress. And I find this gold foil detailing so pretty. I'm also wearing my 
uh, Swarovski earrings which I wore for my marriage like the rest of marriage so I'm wearing that and I'm just wearing my Samsung watch because uh, I'm trying to get in 10k steps every day so I just thought I'll wear this and I also have these new rings that I got from West side, they're so pretty. I love this evil eye one. And yeah, my lashes are still intact. Lash extensions for the win. Like it's been, uh, I think, three weeks and it's going strong. Of course, it's really, uh, you know, sobered down from what it used to be, which is fine. I feel this is more natural than that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just happy that I don't have to use any even eyeliner for that matter and no mascara, of course. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just done some basic makeup. I'll try and take you guys along but I doubt that'll be possible because well, I'm the bride to be so I can't really vlog there. And mama is ready. Mama ji, kya baat hai? I'm ready. I'm going to go shopping. Aww, she's looking so pretty. My mom rarely wears sari so I literally asked her to wear a sari this time. And she looks so pretty. Okay, oh bhai. No, no, no. Oh, lucky, 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 uncle, lucky. <laughs> We went to the topmost part of the store where they have these exclusive designs designed by Bina Kanan herself. So it was a pretty cool experience. We went through lots of saris. We all really like this particular one. I don't even know how to describe the exact shade since it looked different in different lighting. Matthew's grandmom also joined us later. And yeah, then it was time to try out the sari that we had picked. This was like my shy bride moment. <laughs> but yeah, I felt so pretty in this sari, in this particular shade. I was absolutely in love with it. I loved it. Everyone loved it. And yeah, I just couldn't wait to wear it after my wedding. This was such a special time that I shared with Matthew's family. I only wish Matthew could have also been part of this. We even selected our wedding and engagement rings and my Mangal Sutra. So first we went to Bhima and here we were mainly looking for Mangal Sutra. Yes, Christians also have Mangal Sutra. It's just a different kind. It has like a cross as the pendant. So yeah, I picked this particular one and then we went to Kirti Lal to pick my engagement ring and also our wedding ring. Here's a closer look at the wedding band and the engagement ring I picked. The only customization I made was to get the same design made in white gold instead of yellow gold as you can see in the picture. And also the solitaire would be slightly bigger. So yeah, this was my February mashup of all things wedding related. I tried my best to create this timeline for you so it feels like even you guys are on this journey with me. It means a lot for all of you who watched till here. Literally love you all. Thank you so much. The next episode would probably be the last one with regard to shopping and prep before we head to April, the wedding month. So stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the future Wedding Diaries episodes. They're going to get only more exciting from here. Comment down below if you're excited for it and how you like this vlog. I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay happy, positive, blessed, be kind to yourself and others. Bye. Love you. Because we got love.